and welcome back to Hitman 2 and the Another Life mission set in Whittleton Creek, Vermont. And today we'll be taking care of the Tea Time Challenge, which entails killing Janus with some poison tea. Uh, for this one we will also get ourselves the Tasteless Traceless Challenge for poisoning the tea and killing Janus. Now I should point out that for this one uh, the challenges will not pop for me in the video as I've already accidentally made both of these challenges pop already in the past. So for this one we're just going to be bringing with us our ever trusty lockpick, our silence pistol and a vial of Igmatic poison and essentially this is the exact same thing we did for the hold my hair challenge. So, uh, right from the start, off the bat, what we're going to do is make our way towards Nolan Cassidy's house, which is just on the left here. And we're going to bypass the house around to the garage. And just past the garage we will find the exterminator van. And behind the exterminator van we will find the exterminator. So we are going to sneak up behind him, knock him out. We're going to hide his body in the bushes just to our right here. We're going to take his outfit and this time we are going to remember to pick up the two keys that he drops. So with all of that now dealt with, we're going to make our way to the garden gate of Nolan Cassidy's house and use one of our keys to make our way through. Uh, you can see in the distance there is a patrolling guard who's just located the area. So we're going to pull out our silenced pistol shoot the camera above the fumigation machine, approach the machine and add our eggmatic poison to it. Uh, with that taken care of, we've now got a short weight on our hands, so we're just going to hide it in the bushes to the right here for the patrolling guard to come back and he will make his way down this path to the very end and he will stop and when he does we can sneak up behind him, render him unconscious we're going to grab the gun he drops, we're going to take his body and hide it in the bush that we were hiding it in, and then we're going to drop his gun and take his outfit, and we're going to move on from this area and we're going to collect our first two clues, and remember we need to collect three clues, so we're going to vault over the fence out the back of Nolan Cassidy's house into the frog sanctuary, and around the fence into uh, Mr. Batty's garden and in his shed we will find ourselves our first clue and a shovel. So we're going to need the shovel for our second clue the, and the notebooks or the law, uh, the law case against uh, Nolan Cassidy and Janus is just on the table there. Now be aware that Mr. Batty is in the area and moving around and he does actually go into the shed as you can see. But if you're timed right, you can just go in, grab what you need, make your way out of the window, and as he enters into the shed, we can make our way back to the frog sanctuary. And just past the first birdhouse that we come to, we will find a little prompt on the ground to dig. Make sure you're crouching when you do this, because if you're stood up, you will be spotted by a camera or a guard. So we dig up the cigar box, and that would be our second clue. So that's two down, one to go. We're going to vault back over the fence into Nolan Cassidy's yard and we're going to put back on the exterminator outfit and once again we now have ourselves a short wait while we wait for Nolan Cassidy and his bodyguard to both re-enter the house. Now they're going to come in via the garage and the garage technically is not part of the house. So if we were to trigger the fumigation machine now Everybody in the house except our target and his bodyguard would become sick. So we need to wait for both of them to be right in the house, in the kitchen, before we turn on the fumigation machine. And that will make absolutely everybody in the house sick. And all of the guards will vacate to the garden to vomit and, and throw up. And Nolan Cassidy will make his way into the downstairs bathroom. So we're just going to wait for these guys to file out. Don't worry about the camera above the door. We will take the cameras out. So we just need to wait for these last two guys 
to vacate the property. Uh, what we're doing, we're waiting here basically because once we start drowning Nolan Cassidy, the AI of the game thinks that the toilet or the downstairs toilet here will be vacant and one of the guards will come back to throw up in it. So we want to give them time to get a nice distance away before we drown Nolan Cassidy in the toilet. Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. James awaits your attention. So with Cassidy out of the way, we're going to make our way into the kitchen and take out the surveillance system. And then we're going to vault out of the kitchen window and back out onto the main street and back behind the uh, exterminator's van. And we're going to put our suit back on because it's a very expensive three-piece suit, which I got from the Kashmirian in Mumbai. So, onwards now to our next target and our next objective. So we have one more clue to collect and one more target to kill. And we are now going to move on to the tea time slash tasteless traceless challenge. So we're just going to follow the road round to our right and when it goes around to the left we'll follow that. Right until up, uh, up until we come to a pink van right here. And this is Helen's West's muffin delivery van and you can see there is a young lady on the other side of the van facing the house and we want her to move away she will make her way along the side the other side of this van with her back to the house and at that point we can make our way to the fence vault over the fence and down into the basement stairs lock pick our way into the basement and down here we will find a key just to our right that we don't need some lethal poison just here on the table and some igmatic poison just behind us but we want the lethal poison so once we have that acquired we can then exit the basement back up the stairs and back over the fence and it's about this point where Nolan Cassidy's body has been found but it's an accident kill so we maintain our silent assassin rating so once we're back over the fence, we're going to hang a left and we're going to run around the outside of Helen West's house and along past the house next door, which is Janus's house. And once we get to the edge of the garage here, just going to wait for that guard to go past before we open the garage doors. We're using our lockpick and I'm going to risk it and duck very quickly inside instead of waiting for the conversation to play out. We're going to close the door behind us so we're not disturbed and just at the entrance to the kitchen we will find a generator which we are going to turn on and that's going to attract the attention of the guard who is in the kitchen and when he comes to investigate we're going to let him turn the generator back off meanwhile I'm trying to find whether I've got anything sort of melee-ish to take him out with which I do not so we're just going to wait for him to turn and off the generator and render him unconscious with our bare hands. Collect his gun, grab his body and we're going to drag him over to the other side of the room where there is a chest freezer waiting for us. So once our guard is safely tucked up we're going to take his outfit and we're going to now move on to our third objective clue which is down in the basement of this building just making sure that Janus and his bodyguard aren't around there is an enforcer down at the bottom of the basement as you can see he is just moving away from me which is perfect so as he moves off to his right I believe it is we're going to make our way around the filing cabinets collect the photo that is on top of those cabinets and that will be our third clue collected and with that collected, all that's left now is to take out Janus and the tea time challenge. So back into the kitchen where we find a huge ornamental urn. And we're going to pour Janus a nice hot cup of tea. And then we're going to lace it with some cyanide pills. And now just only thing left to do now basically for me is to decide where I'm going to stand and watch because Janus's bodyguard is an enforcer so we can't just stand out in the open so I'm just going to wait right here around by the entrance to the garage 
Uh, you don't have to wait around at all if you don't wish. You can poison the glass and leave the oh, building and wait gee. by the bus stop or Just any other exit need. you choose. I have chosen for the purpose of this video to stick around. So Janus has arrived, he has spotted the tea. He is now going to go and drink said tea, which will instantly kill the old man. You may have survived the Cold War, but you didn't survive the hot coffee. At last, the actions of the first constant catch up with you. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like Janus. So that is all of our objectives and challenges complete. Like I said, the tasteless, traceless and tea time challenges won't pop for me because I've already achieved them uh, when I was doing my silent assassin suit only run. So all that's left to do now is make good our escape. There are a number of exits on this map, but probably the easiest one to get to apart from the bridge over yonder is the bus stop which is right here so there you go that is the tea time challenge and the tasteless chaseless challenge just completed i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video